everyone, I'm Ryan, you're watching the 60 Cycle Hum, and I'm back at it! I've got another pile of cheap pedals. This time I'm doing delays. These are all around 20 bucks. This one was 20, this one was 23, this one was 20, and this one was 21. So let's unbox these things and start messing around with them, huh? First one, first things first. A little Mimi's is what it says. M I M I, and then a note on there, a few note symbols. Uh, this is, you know, clearly the same box and style as this Azor Fuzz, and they had an Azor delay in the same box and same control layout. I just liked the color of this one a little better than the Azor one. I'm sure, I'm sure they're the exact same pedal. Yeah, exact same fonts on the back sticker and everything. Uh, so yeah, I picked this one because it had that light blue color. Came with a rubber backing or a Velcro for the full back. I wonder if the Azor came with that, I don't remember. I typically don't like to do full fuzz on the back of pedals though. So. All right, next up. The Moo gig. What do we got here? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got this one just because of how incredibly cheesy and cheap like the typefaces look on it. A choose. It's got echo, mod, and normal switching on there. More of a full size pedal than these mini pedal sort of formats. Anything extra in the box? There is instructions. But I don't need instructions to figure this thing out. Another Velcro pad here. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention with the last run of cheap pedals. Maybe everything comes with Velcro these days. But custom cut Velcro pad for those. All right, next up, the K-Mize. I did a, uh, a full run of K-Mize pedals in one of the past videos, and I found out that they have even more. There's five I haven't done yet. This is one of them, the analog delay, and they also have a digital delay that is on order, but it's on that slow boat. No Velcro in there. Get more light on these. All right, the Twi Note, the Twinote. Same brand as that Papai Fuzz. I'm gonna be able to cut this open with a pick. I don't have a blade on me. That's a mini pedal. With box size, I thought it was gonna be bigger. Velcro with this one. There we go. Four budget delays, all pretty close to 20 bucks. Close enough that no one should complain about the price, really. <laughs> I love the, the name of this. A choose or echoes. I think, I think I'm gonna call it a choose. That's the a choose. Let's get them all up and running now. Okay, all set. We've got everything laid out here. I'm gonna use the K-Mize US Dream uh, for a dirt pedal if I think we need it to show off how these things handle dirt. I'm gonna use my Hartley Benton DC Junior here with a Roswell P90 in it. Affordable guitar for affordable pedals, because of course. Here's that dry signal. <laughs> Here is the US Dream. And here is the first one, the Anna Delay by Twi Note or Twin Ote. All the knobs are down. Let's put everything to noon.
We'll see how long the time goes. Feels relatively long. Maybe like 750 milliseconds or something like that. Not quite a second, but not half a second. Let's see if it self-oscillates. I'm a big fan of self-oscillating delay pedals and racking the time knob for spaceship sounds. Feedback all the way up. Ah, no dice, it disappeared. There's a little bit to play with there. But no, I want full self-oscillation. I love the spaceship sounds. Let's see what we can get with the feedback and the time all the way up. Try some dirt. Digital delay style pedal. It says anal delay, like it's supposed to be analog. I'm not hearing the signal get muddy or break up or degrade across the repeats. It's just getting a little darker as it goes. Yeah, it's getting darker on the full feedback. But it holds up really clear. So if it is an analog delay at its core, it's one of the ones that the signal holds up pretty dang long. If you're looking some, for something like that, I think it's fine. Let's time the mix. Let's time everything. Do like a slap back sort of thing. for slap back. All right, on to the k analog delay. We've figured out, I say we, I mean all of us together as a community. We've figured out that the k stuff is a rebrand of the Joyo circuits. They're cheaper than the Joyo circuits. They're smaller. I think the case is more attractive. I think it's a win-win. So I'm not gonna bother getting any of that Joyo stuff if I don't have to. If you already own the Joyo analog delay, there's no need to replace it, I'm sure but that's what's going on. All right, let's see what this thing sounds like. See, that's an analog delay. It is degrading with each repeat. Yeah, it self-oscillates. 
not bad. Not the most fun time knob to rock. It doesn't feel like it's doing, you know, super musical stuff. Like there's some delays. I just love rocking that time knob. fun. I guess it's all right. I wouldn't build a set around that, but who would, you like about half a millisecond. Not half a millisecond. It feels like a half a second, 500 milliseconds. Which is plenty. If you're going for full second, what are you even doing? How many delays do you want in your song? Like five or six? Let's see. Where the line is between self-oscillation. That's pretty close right there. Yeah, I feel like that's the line. A lot of analog delays, you can't go past noon on the repeats because you just get into that noise making territory. Those are fine with delays it's, it's kind of like fuzz where it doesn't matter how cheap they are because you're destroying your signal in a way with them anyways if, as long as they function you can find a use for them so i'm i'm kind of doubting that i'm going to find anything in this pile that's bad unless it just doesn't function like i think this will be fine i'm already familiar you know with that build quality and i think it's going to function but this is a mystery the you choose let's check it out it's on the normal setting right now. There are three settings, normal, mod, and echo. Oscillation test. It's taking off. Oh, it gets glitchy. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's fun. Clearly a digital pedal. It's doing freaky sampling stuff there. But I don't mind digital. I like digital delays. Kind of feels like, like 750 milliseconds. 
a little longer than half a mil half a second anyways <laughs> Yeah, no degradation against that repeat at all. It just goes and goes and goes. Let's check out the mod setting. very churchy it's kind of interesting like maybe I've just never noticed it before but on other mod delays mod echoes I feel like the modulation is constantly going over the delay repeats this sounds like the repeats are being affected by the modulation and then it takes that sample with the modulation wave and just repeats that same modulation section over and over again you hear that? Like the modulation is not continually swooping over the repeats as they go, like you're locked into that bit of modulation that was on the delay as you were playing it. Is that a feature or a flaw? I don't know. I think it sounds pretty on the mod setting. All right, echo now. I'm assuming this is gonna be an emulation of an analog delay. It does the murky kind of analog delay thing where it just disappears into this murky bleed off of the highs. Twenty-three bucks. I feel like I really like this. It's got a quirky name, a choose. I'm sure it means echo o o o's. But I want to call it a choose. It does kind of a quirky digital delay sort of sound with self oscillation. Gives me a chorusy modulation sound for churchy stuff. A nice soft analog delay sort of sound. note in there. I think this is a winner. 
23 bucks. I mean, I think they all sound fine, but I think this is the one that I'm a little smitten with right now. But maybe the Mimis will dethrone it. Let's check it out. Another crispy, like, signal degradation sort of analog delay. Does it oscillate? crispy too. Same kind of thing as the K-Mize, I think, as far as sound quality goes. Time knob's a bit smoother and a little bit less temperamental than the K-Mize, though. I like how little it is, too, and I like that big light-up knob. That's the kind of knob you could put your foot on it and move it around to you know, do racked effects while you're playing. You can't do that with the K-Mize because it's a little knob that's hidden up here in that cluster. It would be fun to put like a big kind of stubby knob on here that you could really put your foot on. Years ago I bought a Yellow Fall and I'm sure some people are wondering why I didn't you know, buy another one and include it in this. And it didn't self-oscillate. So that's the reason why I didn't get one again. Um, also, I think they're like 35 bucks or something now. These are all 20 bucks. Or close to it. Let's see how long this goes. Feels like half a second. 500 milliseconds. Let's do a similar setting on the K-Mize and dare to compare. close. I think the k mize sounds a little bit crispier with that analog kind of degradation of the signal. It sounds a little bit warmer, a little bit fuller, but it still does that analog thing. <laughs> 20 bucks for the Mimi. Everything is right around the same price. I think I would pick the Mimi over the k mize let's, uh, let's do another quick run through with distortion.
Let's figure out which one is gonna go on the affordable board. By the way, that's the name I'm picking for the affordable pedal Hall of Fame board. Uh, who suggested it? I've got it on my phone here. Rod Moyes. You were the first one to suggest affordable board. A couple other people did it, I think, maybe one or two. I think it's a great name. It's, uh, it's really catchy, easy to remember. I think it's hashtagable. I think it's fun. So affordable board, you won. Uh, pick any pedal that I've covered in this series and let me know and I will, uh, I'll ship it to you. I'll order a new one for you if shipping is too much or if I wanna keep the pedal, which is a very real possibility. All right, so let's figure out which of these pedals is gonna make it onto the Afforda board. I'm really between these two. I think the rest can, can take a hike. I think the, uh, the Anil Delay is the worst of the bunch. So that's out. Uh, the K-Mize is pretty close in sound quality to the Mimi, but I just love the form factor of this. I love the big center time knob that I could rack with my foot. I like the color of it. I like the light ups thing. I think the sound is a little bit softer and warmer. So that's a contender, but I love the feature set of the Achoos. The Achoos. So for now, for the time being, I choose, I choose you. Did I do that funny? <laughs> it didn't feel all the way funny. It's also lighter than this little one. This bigger pedal is lighter than the little one. Also, it gets me some chorus sounds, which means I could eventually kick off this analog course. Oh, you know what? Oh man, I'm an idiot. Let's reverse. Let's go back. I gotta turn them all on at the same time. The show you deserve, the content you deserve, all the delay pedals on at the same time. have a reverb there. Four delays on at the same time and it's almost a reverb. There's some weird artifact going on though. All right, 
Let's throw in the king now and put the achoos on the Afforda board. Congratulations, achoos. And call your mom after this. Mom, mom, I've been a chosen. You always said I would never amount to anything, but I did it, mom. I'm on the Afforda board. I'm a real pedal. The chorus should be before. The chorus should be before. Welcome to the family at Shoes. Here's the Afforda board in its entirety. Kuvave Fuzz, K Mai's Vintage Phase. Papai Fuzz. Mosky D250X. Kmai's analog chorus. Uh oh, uh oh. We forgot some power. It really is true by pass. A choose. Kmai's tremolo. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me rude, nasty comments. Uh, support us on Patreon. Click the Amazon links down below or whatever links I have to check out these products. Uh, I use affiliate links to help you know, put some money in my pocket, put diapers on the table and food over our heads. And also uh, go check out the link for the Harley Benton here. It's a fun guitar. I really like this thing and it's super affordable. And uh, stay grounded. Bye everybody. <laughs>